Yo, what's up everyone? It's Emilio with Let's Roll Characters and today is day 23 of the 31 Days of Character Creation Challenge. For the last seven days, we've been making characters that are all set in uh, the city we've decided to call Paul Anvara. And we're really <laughs> kind of building up uh, to this, uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be a battle or, or what it's going to be, but I just kind of was going through the numbers and we've got... Uh, two sides that are building out pretty thoroughly here. So on the one side, there's Tenazar the Paladin, Upset the Paladin, and Jan Word of the Walls, the monk that Christian ruled yesterday, which I thought was a really cool character. Uh, on the other side uh, is Divinia the Sorcerer, who is leading uh, her her group of people to uh, sort of take control of, of Palanvara. Uh, and her team includes the Eviscerator, who is a warlock dwarf, uh, as well as possibly Slate Gentle Fist, the first character that kind of kicked off this whole saga, who wants to be a fighter, wanted to be a, a boxer, I think, or was training, but learned that they weren't really good at stuff and uh, is, is potentially being manipulated by Divinia to do some dirty work. Um, and then also just want to mention Mandresa, who is Tenazar and Slate's uh, sibling, sister, who is also a sorcerer and who runs the family business. Uh, Mandresa has not as of yet chosen a side in this conflict and is sort of you know sitting back and playing the angles could go either way i think mandresa's main goal is to you know find out what's going to support the family and the business that's that's where she lands um also today's prompt is the word remain so that is a lot of stuff all together let's you know turn that 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 into a soup here uh all right we're gonna roll a d10 for ancestry that's an eight. So that's Tiefling Ancestry. Uh, D12 for class is a four. A Tiefling Druid. And it's our first Druid in a while. D20 for background is a three. A criminal. Criminal background. And a D4 for gender. It's a male. Okay. We've got a Tiefling druid with a criminal background who's a male and this person has to also kind of be the impetus for the next event happening in palanvra so what is going on in palanvra and why does this tiefling druid lead to some something happening some event and i got it okay <laughs> this tiefling druid is being brought into town they were a dangerous uh, uh, most wanted criminal that was being sought by the Palanvara uh, police or the paladin some, some group maybe Janward's group was uh, actually the one that apprehended them uh, this tiefling um, is, is said to be able to control uh the the trees and the woods themselves uh the elements of nature and so was wanted for having committed some kind of atrocity uh in the orcish town the orcish fishing village that upset came from uh upsets people were looking for this criminal they escaped but it, the the folks in palanver caught them and brought them into town in a very public way. They, you know, this was a person that was known to be wanted, known to be a dangerous criminal. You know, their 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 face was plastered on signs around town. So they brought them back into town in a very public way, inside of a locked carriage, just you know, wheeled into town uh, with as as small crowds gathered to you know throw fruit, <laughs> rotten fruit or old fish at the uh, at the apprehended criminal. Um, Davinia and her team were ready. They recognized that this was happening. They had prepared because they knew that this tiefling druid would make a powerful ally and they planned to uh, free, free him from the paladins who had captured him or the monks who had captured him. Uh, and so that's where our conflict first rears its head in the streets where I doubt that Divinia would have been there, but maybe this is when Divinia sends the Eviscerator and Slate to free this criminal under the pretense that this person has been wrongly imprisoned and that it is the right thing to do, uh, at least for Slate's, Slate's sake, 
uh, it's the right thing to do to free this person. When that happens, Slate has to confront uh, the paladins, including Tanizar, who has recently returned to Palanvera, uh, to, you know, to to return to to their family, um, uh, and is is maybe not the one who caught this tiefling druid, but is part of the group of paladins who are leading him through the streets, and so that's where we get our first clash, the siblings Tanizar and Slate. Uh, as well as the other folks involved, potentially meeting in the street uh, and recognizing that this is not just sort of town politics as usual, that there's something bigger afoot here. Let's roll some ability scores because I really hope this Tiefling Druid is super powerful. <clears throat> okay, we're going 4d6 straight down the line, strength through charisma. First up, strength is a 14. That's a very good start, which <laughs> it's not going to go well now, I know it. Uh, it's 13 decks. None of these things matter for a druid, but maybe they're like a druid ninja. Constitution, don't fail me now. 15, they're tough as hell. My voice is getting higher. Intelligence is a 13. I sort of feel like that's all we need there. What is the, oh, but the druid, <laughs> what's the druid stat? It's wisdom probably, right? All right, this is probably going to be the lowest one. Wisdom is a 13. Crushing it. You are crushing it, Tiefling Druid Criminal. And Charisma. And who cares? Doesn't even matter, but it's still a 16. <laughs> Look at these stats. 14 Strength, 13 Dex, 15 Intelligence, uh, 15 Con, 13 Intelligence, 13 Wisdom, 16 Charisma. Of course... This is an extremely powerful character who, who would be, you know, wanted by both sides for their strength or to keep them out of, out of the battle. Um, so, yeah, this works out great. Tiefling Druid, former criminal, brought into town by the paladins and the monks <clears throat> for heinous crimes against nature, uh, leading to Divinia sending her forces into the streets to confront and free uh, to confront the paladins and to free this character. Um, and so the question is, will this tiefling druid remain in prison or will they escape? Uh, and that's our prompt for Maine. What's their name? What is this person's name? I wish that we were doing this live somehow and we were chatting because I'd love to ask folks for input on their name. But okay, let's, uh, let's give this person a really evil... You know, I, I mean, it's, it's got to be a, a, a like a like a fake name, um, that, a name that was given to them by the town for what they did. The um, uh, they call this person uh, Gray Death because when plants come in contact with them, they turn gray, wither, and die. Um, and there you go, Grey Death, the Tiefling Druid criminal, kicking off the conflict between Tenazar, Upset, and Janward, and Divinia, the Eviscerator, and Slate. And maybe Christian will tell us where Mandresa is going to land tomorrow. Uh, thanks, everybody. This is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this uh, this progression here. That's day 23. Check in tomorrow.